breathe. Can you hear it? Welcome to Relay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Relay Station. Hello. Can you hear us now? Yeah. Maybe. Can you hear us? Uh, I, I could... I had the stream up literally seconds ago, and I could hear us. And it was fine. Perfect. Hello, everybody. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Welcome to the show. Uh, David almost had his baby today. Didn't happen yet. It's a work they in progress. They were sent home. They were sent home. They're walking. But we're we're in the we're in the home stretch. All right. Listen, David said he was gonna give away something, and we're, I'm actually gonna take some bets. So I'm gonna work on a Google form real quick. All we're gonna do is guess the day and the gender, and we're gonna give away prizes for for what uh dips on what the tactical copter. Yes. Excuse me. Uh, the the sex of the baby, not the gender. Excuse me. Uh, Google form. Yeah. So he has it. Nothing's I mean, happened that yet. Be, that would be. I mean, they want a surprise, right? A tie helicopter would be a surprise. It would be. A, it would be <laughs> a surprise. Yeah. So uh, we're just. This is basically going to be mostly a hangout. We have a few things to talk about, but as everybody yeah. knows, we're kind of in the uh, content blackout that happens for the first three weeks yep. of every quarter. We're we're right. We're also immediately before CitizenCon. So yeah, and the patch that's happening. And the patch isn't fully out yet, so I haven't actually been able to play three point seven. So I can't even talk about that. <laughs> yeah. I just realized that CitizenCon. Am I next month? Yep. I just realized I'm going yeah. to the UK next month. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You've got you and the auto DJ upstairs. I don't even know if I'm in wave one or not. Sling in a loaf of bread. I am. Close the door. <laughs> I am. Let's see what happens. Uh, <laughs> I forgot that I was in wave one, so I actually have the ability to install the PTU client. Get in there right now. <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, I'm I'm very limited on uh, on bandwidth currently. <laughs> I see. Uh, I have on a good day we have 25 megabits download speed on a good day. Oh, that's awful. And Shimmer's like Shimmer's like shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you you're on ADSL too. That's what I'm saying. That's like peak. That's not average. At 1.9 um, peak. Is that megabits or megabytes? Because megabytes, I'm Mega kind of right there with you. It's, I think it's megabytes. I am okay. slightly underneath you, yeah. Yeah. It used I, to be. It I, slowly crept down over the years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And the price has no. slowly gone up. <laughs> no! You're absolutely right because all the lines are degrading and they just keep jacking up the prices because they have to fix them. Maybe if you just swapped out the infrastructure for something better, like fiber, uh, like fiber, <laughs> it would for Destiny Two with the Steam transfer. It would have been faster for me to have it UPS delivered than. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder, if there's uh, a, I wonder if there's a business there to for to have people. The, the, uh, according to QI, officially the fastest internet speed or the fastest way to send a file is UPS because it works out the amount of data <gasps> they send on fucking thumbsticks on a seven four seven. Listen, do do who's doing listen, this? Listen, oh no, Darge <laughs> has brought something to our attention. Uh oh, Star Trek Picard. January 23rd. Oh, that's 20, awesome. 20. I'm going to be very busy that week. <laughs> January 23rd. I thought it was going to be later. That's awesome. We are, what, less than four months from Star Trek Picard. And 
interestingly, Discovery should be in January as well, so there's going to be a lot of Star Trek. And, and when does no, the Expanse no, start up really. again? Uh, the like... Expanse is November. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure, surely it's not going to be uh, another season of Discovery quite so soon. It only ended this year. Well, yeah, but it's but it's, it's been every... a gap between them. Uh, the, I think it was January both times, wasn't it? For what? What? Discovery. Star Discovery? Trek Discovery. Yeah, it, it was... Mm. What about the Orville? The Orville is currently the best Star Trek TV show on... on <laughs> that's uh, live Discovery right now. was pretty damn good, I don't know. Discovery is yeah, good. Season 2 was fantastic. Mm-hmm. But... I have to say, though, it wasn't quite... I, the, yeah, I get it. The, Or the Orville's uh, the Orville is literally just a sequel to TNG. Like it's, <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's, it's, they just kept going. This is this is season eight, nine, and ten. So the only issue the or I have with the Orville is whenever I hear Seth MacFarlane, it's just it's Brian. And yeah, well, because so Brian is just his normal it. voice. Yeah. Oh, uh, so you know what's really kind of funny. Apparently, it, apparently the um the trailer for D Discovery season three landed forty minutes ago. Yeah, it's it's the the Star Trek. Why am I the, on this fucking podcast? <laughs> yes, Discovery trailer to fucking the, watch. The the Star Trek panels happening right now. At, oh, that would do it. Uh, at, at New York Comic Con. So, um. So all they're saying so yeah. far is that it's happening. It's going to be in twenty twenty. They may push it to after Picard. So they're not running at the same time. That's probably a good idea. <clears throat> I, uh, I saw something that said it's going to be set about 900 and something years in the future from where it was. Yeah, it's not a surprise. I wish it was on Amazon Prime in, in the US <laughs> and not on the CBS CBS and Garbo. Yeah. 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 Um, although, to be fair... One of the reasons CBS is so gung ho about Star Trek and about giving it money and stuff is because of how good a job it's doing at growing their online platform. So yeah, they've it's kind of a catch twenty two. Acquired, they've only just recently acquired the movie rights as well as the series rights now as well. Yep. So yep. Oh, they got the movie rights from Paramount. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. finally. That's, yeah. That's the first time ever, I, I think. I yeah. don't know if true. This is this is just what I read on the internet by Abraham Lincoln, possibly fake name, <laughs> not sure if real, but supposedly the guy who was head of CBS was not exactly a fan of Star Trek, and you know the first chance he got to axe it, he axed it and never brought it back. Now there's a new guy in charge, and that's only mm -hmm. what I've heard and read. Okay, that's interesting. Someone came to visit. Oh, it was right. It was Viacom that had. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. Cool. Yeah, because they've been made by. That, that was always kind of a weird thing to me. It's like Star Trek series are made by one company and Star Trek movies are made by a completely different company, and it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Puppy's like, that's enough. I want to leave. <laughs> she does that. She's like, hey, hey, look at me. Pick me up. Look at me. And then I pick her up. It's like, okay. And then we'll use me. <laughs> Only a little bit of affection. That's it. And then off she goes. Yeah. She just needs it in small, tiny, controlled doses. <laughs> um, Talizora Naraya Voss Bradley. <laughs> I love it. Is her name. It's so good. We just call her Tally, though. Uh, Tally Ho. Yes. Brilliant. <laughs> Standing outside, shouting out in the porch. Tally Ho! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> All right. Um, let's go through. We're gonna talk about crab ship. Yeah, let's talk about crab ship a little bit. I, um, I'm I'm with Carlisle that we should refer to it exclusively as crab ship from now on. They need to give it claws. Someone needs to give it yeah. claws. They gotta give it claws. It needs claws in the front of it. Alright. Show and tell time. Are we roughly... Okay, we're good. Alright. Alright, so there's a bigger version of crab. See? Crab ship. 
grab, grab, grab. I guess grab, if you could grab. like maybe they should totally give it the ability to like manipulate those landing legs so it can like it it looks <laughs> I I like the uh remember when they first showed it off it was all silver? Mm-hmm. Like all like like just flat metal. I like the gold and the red. And the texture quite a bit. There's a lot of texture. Yeah, right? yeah. I think they need to remove the forward and backward thrust strafe completely. Only sideways. The only sideways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need quantum, quantum, you just quantum no. double sideways through space. That's it. Where are the guns mounted on this thing? Are they on the nacelles? I have no idea based on the picture. Because if they are, can we just take the the weapon mount off and attach the uh, the vandal blade things <laughs> and then it's a it literally is a crab yeah am i am i imagining it or are there at least you know there are landing landing struts on the pincers mm -hmm. yes yes yep so what happens if someone gets a really lucky shot and shoots off your pincer uh you have a very rough landing yeah, you, well, I mean, it's it's yeah, a very flat, right it's a very flat ship, so it would literally just be like 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 this. Yeah, <laughs> it's like taking the wheels off your car on one side. It's just kind of. <laughs> That's when you really want it to, want to get it repaired in space and not have to land somewhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or else it'll be rough. <laughs> All right. Uh, if there's a way to boost Shiver, Eric. Uh, is there a way to boost Shiver? Yeah, right-click on him and crank his I volume. We'll work on that. Um, you're asking me to right-click on Shiver. That sounds pretty rude. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm briefly going to totally yeah. mess, up the inter mess up the cameras. Sorry, folks. Here we go! Oh. Uh, his user volume is already absolutely maxed. Shiver. This is your, your fault, end, my friend. <laughs> it's your fault. Your fault. <laughs> um. So I like this part. We piece. have we have yet another beautiful picture of a cave. Also, did yep. you guys see the picture on the subreddit of the guy who found the teddy bears in the cave, and their eyes no. glowed red? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's pretty good. Is there I need a flare gun in Star Citizen. Um no the because best, the best you can do is carrying around glow sticks apparently. I I want a flare gun because like you know those shots in like m movies in the caves where they shoot the flare gun forward and you, it's yeah. like a ring of light as it goes in. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want it. Actually, it wouldn't surprise me if somebody at, at CIG is currently working on that. Yeah, CIG, if you're here or listening or watching this later, uh, give me flare gun for exactly this. Yep. That's what I want. Just that one scenario. You want a flare gun for yep. a burning ring of fire? Yes. All right, I need to... Uh... Um, do you think it's going to burn, burn, burn? <laughs> burn, burn, what just, what just happened? the club version oh okay. yeah it's just heavy distortion <laughs> you, just, it, you, just, you just plug it into your your like your grind core pedal the microphone crank it and that's what happens <laughs> all right i've been able to uh locate the teddy bear grind core pedal but you know what i mean a, a pedal that would <laughs> be used for grindcore. Thanks, Jake. Now I'm going to be thinking about Napalm Death songs all for the podcast. <laughs> there he is. He's an evil teddy bear. It's a family of teddy bears with one evil yeah. one, at the, one, one evil one at the center. <laughs> oh, awesome. Man. Yeah. I thought that was pretty entertaining. It's a, it's a Borg bear. And as we can see, even from this screenshot, it is in on Daymar. So, yeah. Oh, Daymar caves. Nice. Yes. Nice. Are they going to put them on the... Did, 
Did they say if it was just Daymar? Or uh, if it's no, I like think moons? I mean, I think they're... Or everything. Yeah, that'd be nice. I want... They were talking okay, about, listen. They were talking about uh, distributing the caves just like they do the outposts. So I'm full of requests today. CIG, listen. <laughs> Next edition <laughs> of caves... <laughs> I want it to be uh, on Art Corp somehow. I don't know how. You just go down somehow. to the basement of a I don't building. Know. You just go down and, to the basement of a even... building and then it goes right into a cave. So what if they made caves but they weren't like natural like rock formation caves? Maybe they're like drilled <laughs> out like strip mines. Or like, uh, even just like, what if what if it's like an undercity, like like how Coruscant is built? So so Coruscant was built, and then they built an entire layer of city on top of that city. Mm -hmm. So that you could, I don't know, that'd be cool. Put a city on a city. That was that's uh, literally what uh, thirteen thirteen was gonna be about. Was uh, the old the old part of Coruscant? Oh yeah. Uh, that was, um, uh, when I was in Iceland, that's how the, the Vikings built things. They built them on top of other things. So like when they started doing uh, archeological excavations there, they like dug under the church and they found the old church. It's underneath the current church. And they yeah. dug down in the basement of some hotel and they found like an old longhouse from a thousand years ago. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Carl Carlisle, I'm already a, a CIG developer according to games GameSpot.com, so I'm not really. It's not. <laughs> it's not really awesome. a demand. It's not really a demand. It's more like just like like Plans working for work later. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. just I'm just working is what it is. Um. Wow. Me and you both have been considered developers now. That's yeah. By official I, publications. It's, it's me. Me, you, and David have all been quoted. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, him too, yeah. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Wow, it, it's taken a long time, but we've finally gotten hired by CIG. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> not finally. It, it, that was like five years ago, yeah, dude. I know, I know. That, <laughs> that was ages ago. For me, it was a long time ago. Oh, man. Yep. I haven't been going to work very much, I have to say. <laughs> nah, me neither. <laughs> Uh, they seem cool that we just do this podcast <laughs> all right moving along from the creepy teddy bear um oh hey listen um yeah, real up? quick real quick um so you know how terraforming is kind of a big deal in star citizen yeah sure is um have you played this is going to sound like a tangent, but I promise I'm going to relate it back to Star Citizen. All right. Have you played Apex Legends Season 3? No. So there's a new map that is not King's Canyon. Um, and the whole premise of this map is uh, it's, a, it's an AI that was built as a terraformer and it went nuts. So there's like uh there's like ice formations and snow right next to like lava and volcanoes and stuff like that and it's kind of like a mishmash of insanity like polar opposite biomes all all in one thing. I want a location like that in in Star Citizen. Failed because, terraforming experiments. Yeah, failed terraforming. Like like the landscape just completely gone haywire. That'd be so cool. If you can find a, an image of the map, uh, I will throw it up. Uh, uh, here, here, what I'm is the name here. of the map? Uh, World's Edge. Images. Um, this is like a canon thing from the uh, Titanfall universe. Um... But it's super cool. Here, let me... Yeah, there we go. I, I think I found one. <clears throat> Here. In the chat. Uh, so, a Genesis device would just kind of, like, wipe the slate clean. 
Um, but I'm talking like during the process of rebuilding and like terraforming, something goes wrong and it starts building things incorrectly. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of like if it had cancer or something. If that makes sense. <laughs> Planetary cancer. Yeah. Does that make like because it's like it's like <laughs> Shiver's having a bit of a moment. wrong growth. That's what I'm saying. I understand what you're saying. Um. Yeah, check that out. I, I think that would be a cool uh, type of environment in Star Citizen 2. Kind of, uh, I mean, way less severe, but um, for those interested in lore, Microtech was a terraforming mistake. Yeah. That's why it's so cold. It yep. was, they, they messed up. <clears throat> Is it mistake or unplanned terraformacy? <laughs> yes. That's always my answer to those questions. <laughs> Jake's <face. laughs> Um, so this was sneak peek this week. Sneak peek this week. Uh some more uh work on the basically house. I like the I like the little mini three D model. It needs to be bigger though. Yeah. If um, it if if it was bigger I would like it more. But I like the three D model. I really hope that that oxygen percentage is like how much you have left and not your pulse ox because if it is you're dead. <laughs> I think it's I, I think it's like your oxygen tank. <laughs> I think so. I also do like that they have your body temperature and then the outside body temperature or I don't sorry, body temperature, outside temperature. <laughs> Eric, I don't think we're going to get that granular with our oxygen intake in Star Citizen. <laughs> I wouldn't think so, but you are looking at like your health stats. It's true, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I it would minus be pretty funny. Yeah, it's very cold outside. So, so is is thirty six point six your body temperature? Yeah, that'd be. This is in Celsius, and is that body temperature? temperature? Yeah. Okay. So that's they have, cool. They I like that. Life, body temperature, and then a three D model of your character who apparently has like broken legs. I wonder. <laughs> so this is my yes. Um, this is my uh, idea for a gameplay thing. So like, if you're in a freezing environment like this, and then suddenly your body temperature starts dropping, but maybe you don't realize it because it's hypothermia, and obviously you can't feel cold because it's a video game. Uh, <laughs> um, it would be like, oh, there's a there's a hole in my suit. You gotta patch it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, anything uh, you guys the baby, to... the baby did not come. Not yet. Uh, not yet. Almost, and I would, I would have been so mad. Listen, listen. He he messaged us all. What was it like nine o'clock this morning? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Get at the hospital," and we're like, and, and I'm like, oh. See, if it was even like tomorrow or yesterday, it would I would have not been as upset. Like three but hours man, away from the if it was three hours away from the podcast, I would have been so mad. I would have been so we, mad. We could have got him to periscope it right from the delivery room. <laughs> yeah, is it his his like, <laughs> his like scheduled due date is like in three days? I think. Yeah, it's soon. Yeah. And uh, he said he said his family has a history of early babies, hmm. so it's it's weird that it hasn't come yet actually. So here's my question: That was an early baby. Is there anything you'd One like month. to see deleted or added to this status display? What would you like to see changed? What about change? What I was looking at chat. <laughs> uh, so this is your visor display of you know some basics about your health and status. Yeah. What would you like to see added or changed, other than making uh, the 3D model of the person bigger? Uh, is there personal shields in this game? I forget. It's not in the game yet, but there are do deployable. We get shields? There are deployable shields. There's no Halo like shields. There are Halo like shields in the in the covenants way where they deploy the shields right i'm but talking no like master... no like master chief shields no okay, okay. so so you have a, you have a problem there shield. shiv 
So I, I was just trying to get. It's been a long time since I've played Halo. So I was just like, what? The what? The what? Hey, oh, listen. Yeah. You can play it soon, Shiver. Yeah. Yeah. It's coming to PC. Well, actually, you can. I think they're all for ten dollars each. Oh wow, that's not bad. Ten bucks. I really wish the. Where, where's my fucking remaster of Birth of the Federation, bitches? Uh, given given that the developers abandoned that game a week after it was released i think you're probably not going to get a remaster of that game yeah yeah (laughs) oh man um uh, I don't know. No, uh, I like that that's pretty much everything. About, I, I think Car- I like that Carlisle is talking about how babies look like aliens. Um, uh, where's heart rate? It, it, yeah, that's the, a good question. Because oh, yeah. that's how we measure our stamina. Maybe that's what. Maybe the heart rate is a hundred. Maybe that's what that is. I thought that was just like he- hit points, health, but. Yeah, but uh, this I'm game sure isn't really, really have, doing that. I don't think we really yeah. have hit points. That's probably the heart rate is 100. I mean, um, just the basic information is good enough, but if you could choose to expand it, take elements off other things and have it on screen, it would be nice to have, you know, your mag count. Yeah. Carlisle says, speaking of abandoning games, Diablo Immortal, anyone? Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion they're going to drop that thing uh, yep. at BlizzCon next month. I, it's probably just gonna release while. Oh, while I think I happening. thought you meant drop as in cancel. No, I don't think they're gonna cancel it. I mean, it was a PR disaster, so I don't sure, know. Sure, but you might as well release it. <laughs> they ne- Blizzard never does that though. They always cancel games that they don't want to release. They cancel games if they're not good. Yeah. It, maybe it's good. Maybe it is good. If, they're also but, not developing it, which it, is sort yeah, of that's true. A bit of a question, and that that kind of yeah. <clears throat> um. Yeah, I I think that I think it'll just be like a hey, remember that thing we announced? It's out! Hooray! Diablo everyone, Four. Everyone will be like, great. Now can we move on to other things that actually matter? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Diablo Four is quite obviously in development right now. Yes, it so. is. Yes, it is. Um. Also, uh, they're working on a um, on another game in the Overwatch universe. That's whether not at all surprising. Whether that's Overwatch Two or like a they need to make an game? RTS in the Overwatch universe. Yes, <laughs> totally. Oh, and like because they have all those robots, right? Yeah. Oh, and the hero units are just it's there. It's it's right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd also I'd also play like a like a twenty hour Overwatch campaign game oh single player yeah absolutely just an fps i would play that in a heartbeat especially with these with the with the content they have actually come out with for like yeah. overwatch story stuff has been amazing oh yeah it's it's yeah. It, they've won like awards mm-hmm. <laughs> all right let's talk about this bag <laughs> which is the <laughs> oh man it's the, it's the uh... thing that i want on this business i i do like the mouse mat i would like a a new one because my uh my my terra mouse mat has seen better days um but listen i eat at my computer (laughs) fair enough um uh so i'd like a a new mouse mat and i'd like an aegis one that isn't the one we have right now (laughs) fair enough um um so this was the i like this I, is the, I think all of this. This is the swag that was given out at that limited limited uh, edition or limited uh, chairman's meeting thing, chairman's club meeting in Frankfurt. Yeah. Um, and they're now uh, thinking about slash planning to put this stuff up for sale See, for for and, uh, concierge. And here's the thing: I get that it's just a bag, but if it's a good bag and it's useful and it's like subtle. Mm-hmm. And not like Star Citizen official laptop bag 2019, you know, like like how a lot of Star Citizen merch is. Yeah. Uh, I I really like subtle merchandise where it's like the people who who get it will get it, but at the same time it still just looks good. 
Mm-hmm. And that's I think I think this this bag looks very good. Yeah, the laptop bag looks great. So that's the one. That was the thing that actually made me pull this picture out of my email and just put it up because the laptop bag looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like the bag. <laughs> I completely agree, Star Helix. There better not be eight dollars shipping yeah. for the pen. I think people <laughs> complained about that so much, and that's why they really haven't released merchandise in a long time because they're trying to come up with a solution for it. I, the solution doesn't seem particularly difficult. No, but um, I, I do. So, so here's the thing: all the merch that I've gotten in terms of like its build or production quality has been unbelievable. Oh, very high, very like, high quality. Like the yeah. the shirts are so like really comfortable and durable. Um, everything's been good, and and I think they want to maintain that level of goodness. But that's difficult to find while also keeping prices low. My number one complaint is that you can't buy two items in the same transaction. So every item has to ship separately, which means every item gets yeah. shipping costs Yeah, that's separately. ridiculous. That's and ridiculous. I told them, I actually I actually thought it was a bug. So I, I sent them a, um, like a, you know, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Concierge message and i was like so you can't add multiple merchandise items to your cart and they're like yeah that's the way it's supposed to be and i'm like that's stupid and they're like yeah well that's how it is <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> i um <laughs> that's awesome the best piece of merch <laughs> to this day is the connie model oh uh, yeah um i can agree and i can't wait for my for my arrow to arrive so it goes right alongside it I missed the Connie model. I would have fucking bought one of those, and now it's come back to me that they were available, and I can't get it, and it's bollocks. Yeah, you can probably get one on eBay. You, you can get the. <laughs> do you like the Arrow Shiver? Yeah. Okay. Doesn't quite find the mark with me. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, our bot is currently broken. Super broken. As David is not here. Um. So we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way, babies. You can ask. I, I'm looking at chat. Ask what? Ask away. We've got nothing to talk about this week. <laughs> nope. This is this is the content of Thanks, the show. Sakura. Yep. Uh, but but yeah, if if you guys want a really cool um model thing from Star Citizen, uh, JR Fabrications, um is really really good uh the the gray cat model was fantastic and i'm eagerly awaiting my arrow when it arrives apparently there's some weird stuff like getting the the final licensing for the taco Etsu box going on yeah uh, but yeah good time it's coming in a taco Etsu box that's pretty great like it's legitimately a, a taco Etsu model it's it's super cool so I have a question for you, Jake. Yes. I, I've started developing this theory that there's a crossover between Death Stranding and Star Citizen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I wonder. I wonder if you are in support of this. Theory. I am in support of this theory. <laughs> they both developed giant cargo boxes on your back at the exact same time. <laughs> they did. Yeah. So, so that was the thing. They're like, "Oh, who did it first? Somebody stole some." <laughs> no, at like the same time. They both revealed them like weeks apart. Yep. It was crazy. And now they're in game in Star Citizen. You can wear a giant. Yeah. You can wear a giant box in your. They, so they literally showed it two weeks ago, and the the cargo box was at TGS like a month and a half ago. Mm-hmm. So they, like it was already Star, almost Star done. Star Citizen actually showed it a while, uh, even further back than that. Yeah, um, yeah, like a few times. I don't know. It's 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 interesting. Very interesting. Uh, for anybody, does anybody not know what I'm talking about with the the cargo box in the back thing? It's the big backpack thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if Star everybody's Alex seen does it. not. No, nope. Star Alex okay. does not. I will um, grab the car- picture. Here it is. Just moment. Carl asks, uh, with the release of company letter thing and them talking about their yearly expenses, do you think once Star Citizen is released, they can maintain close to $40 million a year in expenses? Uh, if they continue to release single-player campaigns as their 
their plan is currently. Yeah. Yes, I do. But even uh, still... if they don't, then hmm, <laughs> I don't know. So we'll see. Is it going to be yeah, forty figure. million dollars a year after they've developed the game? Probably. I don't because surely they I can don't downsize think so. if they yeah, so Yeah, they they'll probably downsize a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. Because that is a fucking lot the, a year. Probably Let's also they'll probably also focus a lot of their staff in um in the UK because they have that what whatever thirty three or thirty or thirty three percent um br- uh tax break. Uh, from the UK government, so they can hire more people for less money. Yeah, <laughs> unless unless they're unless the the second campaign of Squadron is going to be like drastically different, um, they will likely downsize mm-hmm. because once they. But that was also kind of the plan from the beginning too, because that's how development works. <laughs> Um, there's like they don't have a full blown concept artist team anymore. They still have concept artists, but they don't need like fifteen of them. They have like five. Those are completely arbitrary numbers. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> but you 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 understand what I'm saying? Yep. Like like you guys remember like Germuk and mm-hmm. uh like Germuk is awesome. Um, George Hall. Like George Hall, Hall something. His name was Hall. Yes, and he much. didn't design the Hall. <laughs> no, weird. Jim Martin designed the Hall. Yeah, Jim Martin designed the Hall. And the freelancer. Yeah. All right. Uh, give me like two seconds. My battery is dead, and I love my headset so much it lets me do this without having to plug it in. Welcome back. Now, welcome back. <laughs> I'm back. That's pretty cool. What headset do you I have? I love it. This is the uh, Steel Series Arctis Pro Wireless. Okay, cool. Um, do you ever have any problems? I've always had problems with wireless stuff cutting out. I've never had an issue. Good. Um, the, don't get Bluetooth and get like the, um, like the high band spectrum communication ones that are like five gigahertz because mm-hmm. um, it sits above anything that would cause interference. Okay, cool. Good to yep. know. Uh, right. Yeah. Don't buy cheap wireless. Go, go big or go home. That, <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. Cheap wireless stuff is always. Miles, I had the, uh. I had the A50s for a very long time, the wireless version of the A40s. And they were good for that exact reason. <laughs> Fast car. New article from The Escapist. CIG sister company announces CIG only has five artists. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. man. You heard it here fir- first. <laughs> Five. Yep. All right. Uh, yes. Also agree with that too. Uh, do not use optical USB. It's fast enough to transfer that data. USB three is the future. USB four. Oh. All right. So, uh, we do have one question in our question dog. I know. I'm saying you have to go digital. We have two questions. Two. We have two questions. The first question is from Shiv's crappy Irish accent. Um, What the fucking hell are you fucking talking about, you idiot? And the question is... I was walking down the street the other day, and I saw a headline that could only happen in Ireland, and it said, Cork man drowned. (laughs) He was a cork man. <laughs> okay. So the question is: <laughs> Is the is the they're, ca- they're rolling? <laughs> <laughs> is the caterpillar rentable in three point seven? And I don't know the answer to this. Does anybody else know the answer? I don't know. I don't think any of us have been able to play it. 
So and and here's the thing is that different change. ships are are rentable in different locations. Oh shit. So it <laughs> takes a while to find out this information. <laughs> That's not It's going to take some time. Uh the the question was is the caterpillar currently able to be rented? Yeah. In 37. Uh the big the big ones that I I hope to be able to be rentable is the prospector. Yes. It has and, to be. Yeah, and um and really, honestly, that's it. <laughs> Everything else is kind of similar. Just like big, big ships that have uh, big cargo bays and things like that. All right. So our second question is from Silky Balls. Silky Balls. 3.7 was released in the viewer viewership in Star Citizen Twitch channels the day of release was very low. Do you think the community has no faith, faith in the new patch releases? Uh, 3.7 hasn't been released yet. Yeah, it's not out yet. It's in PTU, so there's only a few people that have access to it. Now, why are there not more people uh, watching three point seven PTU? Only new locations and really not that many new ships. It just seems like right now people it's are just taking a bit of a break. It's it's been a long time. People are uh, waiting for CitizenCon. Yeah, CitizenCon is yeah. gonna is There's gonna inject the juice as it always well, does. Part of the problem is CitizenCon is supposed to be right now. Mm. <laughs> so it's we're waiting. True. We're waiting an extra six weeks. So our natural evolution evolutionary cycle as a community is currently all messed up. Yep. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna get another sooty pop. Okay. okay. It it, sh it it should bounce right back up Citizen Con afterwards. Oh, yeah. And then as long as they don't screw you know, it up. There should be a Christmas stream and patch around then oh, as well. Oh, dear God. And that's Christmas stream. going to be a really interesting patch. Uh, yeah. 3.8. Uh, 3.8? Yeah, sorry. I think. I mixed up Q4 and 3.4 in my head, and I was like 3. Point... Yeah. Um... 3.14. Wait. <laughs> no not pie um next question is from naive randy who asks do you consider the word naive an emotionally charged word <laughs> so we're gonna ask for more questions <laughs> what is an emotionally charged word anyway well I think, I think that's very person by person. If you know what I mean. Well, it's a word that it's a word that evokes a, a strong emotional response. Like pizza. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah! I'm getting some pizza. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you consider naive to be an emotionally charged word? Sure. <laughs> I'm too naive to have an opinion. Fine. Where's Jake when you need him? Anyway. So, should we... I have no opinion. You have no opinion on whether naive is an emotionally charged word? <laughs> what a weird question. <laughs> Oh man. So uh Sargareth asks, do we know how Brexit will affect the uh, Frankfurt office? Shiver, you're up. <laughs> First most immediate one well, I say most immediate. It <laughs> It depends. A lot of it depends on the type of deal, if there's a deal, and so on. If there is no deal, then travel between the two is going to be a real bastard especially well, the the most immediate one. especially immediately afterwards because there'll be a lot of bad feelings on both sides so they'll probably make things as hard as possible i'm in the club ma'am it's been that way here for decades <laughs> right going to the united states is always a nightmare oh Anyway. Yep. And you never know when it's going to be a nightmare and when it's going to be totally fine. 
of course the time for me that it was a real nightmare was right after i had back surgery and i was trying to carry my uh luggage through the security checkpoint and they had like eight i think it was eight different people in the security checkpoint to like check passports and stuff it took was over an hour to get through security yep i, I went through in security Ooh. in america and there was this woman in front of me. She said, oh, I'd like to opt out of the nude scan thing or whatever. I'm like, fuck it. You know, just fucking do it, man. This yep. is as much punishment for you as it is for me. Come <laughs> yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not totally. fucking around. Just get me in your goddamn they, country so I can eat your food. That's they, all I uh, care about. <laughs> they, did the same, they, they put me in the machine and I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> Fine. Uh, <laughs> Whatever. I love I love the oh, there's man. an image on the internet of a man being frisked right mm -hmm. and his shirt just says it's not gay if it's TSA <laughs> it's like nice and he just wow. had a big old grin on his face he was just like yeah <laughs> It's it's quite weird how different countries do it. Cause you go into Japan and the customs officer is like, "May I look through your suitcase?" And I'm just sat there thinking, "Yeah, because I've I've got a choice if I say no, right?" <laughs> and then the English they just help them fucking selves. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So our honeymoon was to Italy, and mm -hmm. we went to once once we were in Switzerland. It was like it was like the most like wonderful like like oh hello why are you here and we're like oh we're going to italy it's our honeymoon they're like great stamp see ya and, <laughs> and i was like wow that was that was so easy that's how it's supposed to work and then on the way home it took almost three hours so <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want back into the united states wow okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem <laughs> yeah um so i thought we should take a moment to look at the roadmaps except there really isn't a whole hell of a lot to talk about here uh not a whole lot happened um so we're the only thing of any note at all is really on the squadron 42 roadmap um you'll notice they they moved a bunch of armors um, and the reason they did that is that they decided, uh, this is in their note this week about the roadmap updates. They, uh, have decided to focus on finishing specific characters rather than like armor sets. Um, so characters that are using this armor. Yeah. And, and they're, they're saying they can get squadron out faster if they don't drill down to make it systemic. Mm -hmm. and where they can just cheat for the campaign so if you're not going to be wearing it and it's not part of what you're doing yeah yeah um it's a good thing so that's good that's good production <laughs> that's good good job cig so they they finished human ai combat v2 this week um and also usables v2 they're both done this is in squadron of course so when that makes its way into star citizen is an open question um well it's whether or not it's even the same system because they can cheat the squadron yeah yeah they totally can set pieces um and what they wanted to what they mentioned about walk and talk which you see also has moved um, was that they were making very good progress on it, but then they decided to focus on another system that I don't, I don't think is actually on here, which was guarding and patrolling, I believe. Um, and uh, so they just shifted their yeah. focus. Um, and that and only got pushed like one quarter. A yeah. month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's not that bad. I mean, they were, they're already almost 60% complete with that. So Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's gonna be cool. right. I like that. Um, yeah, <gasps> there's not a I whole lot. Just, listen, I have looked at this roadmap like 700 times. Mm -hmm. uh, HDR is on the docket for yes, it is for like a few months from now. Yeah, 
HDR color processing. I love HDR. You you will never go back. You will never go back. You, you will demand it from every video game. You also keep in mind you actually have to have an HDR co- capable monitor, yes. which is pretty hard to get. Um, not so much anymore. Well, if, they're just ex- they're really expensive if, right now. Well, I mean, if you're shopping for 1440p or better, it's going to have HDR. Like, that's there's a big difference between it has HDR and it can actually show you yeah. HDR in some kind of usable way. HD HDR 10 certified is what you yeah. should look for. Because you um, want you want monitors uh, as Linus goes on about anybody who watches Linus Tech Tips, uh, you basically want a monitor with a peak brightness of a thousand nits for HDR. And most of them are like 400. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> it's... and, it, and that's the thing too, is like, um, like I'm, I'm going to be upgrading uh, my computer probably next year at some point. Mm-hmm. I have no, I have one of the first rounds of HDR 1440p monitors and I have no desire to upgrade it even with like 4k. It, like it's, it's perfect. It's yeah. perfect. And um, it'll it makes everything look good, um, for like forever. The you know what's the first game I played with HDR was Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh my and, god! Oh boy, that that entire first part of the game takes place in like an autumnal forest, and it's just the most beautiful thing you'll ever see. Autumnal is a great word. Autumnal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, right. Um, as everyone can probably plainly see, they did, uh, in Q2, we noticed they definitely fall, fall behind, um, with, uh, the chapters. Um, they've rebalanced things, but they're definitely still behind, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, I haven't seen a newly completed chapter, uh, phase on there in quite a while, so that's obviously taking longer than expected. Uh, Right. Yeah. Back to our giant faces. I'm sorry, everybody. Ah! All right. So we got half an hour left. Please ask us questions. questions. We can answer them. All I, right. think, I think there's a couple in there. Carlisle asks, votes on if we get any new info about Squadron 42 at CitizenCon, and don't give me yes. that NDA shit shiver. No, no, we probably will. I'm almost certain we will, given where... CitizenCon is taking place. I mean, it's... Yeah. At the UK studio, essentially. <clears throat> um, we kind of uh, already talked about this, but uh, obviously we should talk about it again. Uh, Bajajus we- Wept asks... Um, oh my god. I just noticed Eris isn't here. Is he having the bubba? Not no. yet. It's very close. They thought it was happening and then went to the hospital yeah. and then got sent home. The scheduled due date is th- like three days from now. So very soon. Probably before the right. I'm, I'm still working on the farm. I forgot about it halfway through the podcast. So give me a second. Keep working. Uh, the next the next question is is pretty great. Uh, mostly just because of the username. Uh, a legion of slutty tree surgeons asks. Oh, oh, is that because they operate on your wood? Yes. Uh, <laughs> See, I twigged that. <laughs> Asks, do you think the 890 was made for Squadron, the PU, or both? If for Squadron, what will it do there? <laughs> Definitely a PU ship. Yeah, but it was made now, so it could also be a set piece, couldn't it? The, the... There could definitely it be like the Vanduul blo- the Vanduul attacking an 890 jump full of important people, and you have to save them in order, you know. I mean, th- look at Mass Effect 2. You're trying to assemble a team to take on the collectors, yet one of the DLC is go to this criminal luxurious party. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> oh, man. Can I say they have made Google Forms so nice? It's great. Uh, all right send uh link shorten copy okay (laughs) 
Uh, hello, everybody. Carlisle. Uh, we're going to give away something undisclosed. <laughs> Probably Star Citizen related, definitely related to Relay. Um, we'll have maybe like a first and second prize. Like whoever gets the day right and whoever gets the the BG right. And then we're going to random num- number generate <laughs> those people. And those people will win. Uh, please click on this Google form. Uh... Let me know if it works. I'm pretty sure it should. <laughs> you can vote. Put your name and your RSI handle. Oh, wait. Actually, ignore this. Just kidding. I really should have put your email address on there. Uh, yeah. I thought BG stood for bearded or girl. Ah, <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. All right, just kidding. Ignore that link. Ignore that link. Do not use the link. Hold on. Or at least if you use that link, use the other one. Do the new one too. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I got it. Send. Shorten. Copy. Okay. Here we go. This one instead. Sir Chris says, there we go. Use the link. I'm sorry. It's the wrong Just link. Just don't give the link. Well, I mean, you can use it. Yeah, you can use it, but you're not going to win anything. You're just wasting your own time, is what you're doing. <laughs> I do a lot of that wasting of my own time. Yeah. Uh, you guys should ask us some more questions, too. Um, we would like to answer them. All um, right. First, first guess is uh tuesday boy all right and all second vote is also boy everybody's saying boy everybody thinks it's a boy i actually think it'll be a girl personally everybody thinks it's a boy Um, uh this is this is david's first child yes and so we have we have no frame of reference um Although it really doesn't matter. Not even. Uh, <laughs> nice guys, keep voting. They're coming in. Vote, Ten, vote, vote. Nine responses. So, should we talk at all about the company sales report that came out? Uh, sure, I guess. Sure, sure. Did you see? Did we already you... we already talked about it a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Did you guys see it? Read it. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Shiver, no, no. <laughs> sure didn't. <laughs> um, you bet your ass I did not. Uh, very brief highlights here. Uh, they'll, they'll be writing a much longer, more complete report at the end of the year um, that also includes information about the U.S. business activities. This was a filing in the U.K. Um, they lost like 800,000 pounds in 2018. Um, and in the UK studio, but had a reserve of 2.9 million pounds. So, and it was all well within their uh, forecasts. Um, and yeah, they'll at the end of the year they'll have a more complete report, which I'm assuming will have the financials like the initial release did, um, showing the full financials for the company. Um, yeah, I, I'm. The only reason they brought it up is that there's almost nothing to talk about this week. <laughs> Shiver's having a difficult time staying awake over there. No, I'm just, I'm going through the number of horrible things I could say about this financial report that would just get me in trouble if I said them, even though they were only said in good humor. Okay, say all of them. One after the other. So, who's Thanks, this Sargreth. Miguel I... Sanchez, and why do you have such an interest in Cuban wicker baskets? Sargreth Sargreth called me out. He knew I burped without pushing push to talk. He knew. He knew what I did. (laughs) 
I didn't push Chester like Dog, it. but he, he saw it. He knew what I did. <laughs> I could see your lips quiver. I love Night. that. <laughs> Shiver's having a moment over there. <laughs> Barney's lip trembling there. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> More uh, questions. CD Madman has got a very good point there actually. It is in their best interest uh push for a loss in the UK because it does affect attacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good uh, point. very common for like in the movie movie industry for them to say the movie officially did not make any money. So they can claim back certain taxes, but then it's through various other shady dealings. It's perfectly legal and not in any way immoral, I'm told, that they make money off it. Yeah. <laughs> not in any way. More questions. More questions. Post it again, Shiver. Or not Shiver, Fastcart. I know we look similar, Fastcart and I. <laughs> yeah. Very, very. It's just like... Uncanny. Uncanny. Uncanny is the perfect word for it, in fact. Um, Is there any other non Star Citizen news, gaming news that we should be aware of, Jake? You are the. Non Star uh, Citizen gaming news? Yeah, you are the. the Uh, uh, Red Dead's coming to PC. Well, we already talked about that. (laughs) Did we talk about it on, on the show? I thought we were talking about it before the show. Maybe we did. But yeah, if anybody Uh, doesn't know, Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming to PC in November. Like a month from now. Like actually exactly one month from now. And then uh, that'll be just Rockstar. I think you have to buy it directly from Rockstar. And then a month after that, a month after that, so December, it'll be out on Steam. Yeah. Steam! Um, New Batman are heavily teased by Warner Brothers Montreal. Uh, The only thing that I know for fact is Kevin Conroy is not voicing Batman in it. Oh. Uh, uh, what's your face? Ms. Marvel's gonna be a playable character in the Avengers game coming next year. Oh, that's she interesting. She is confirmed the sixth playable character. They teased it because we all kind of assumed the person narrating the first trailer was Kamala, but yeah. Uh, I'm excited for that. I I love Ms. Marvel. Um. Oh, did you My, see? Um, did you see? Joker? Um, I did. I greatly enjoyed it. Good. Um, Joaquin Phoenix is gonna win an Oscar for that movie. Mark my words. It was an unbelievable performance. I hope he does. That man is the definition of method acting. Like him and Christian Bale and um, Heath Ledger too is exactly like that was. Yeah, was, yeah. That was how he pulled it off, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, is it is it coming out to literally everything except Steam initially? That would be hilarious. I do. Think I would it's... imagine because if they put it out before December, it's going to be viable for it to go into the Steam Christmas sale one month after release, and no fucker wants that. So if they release it in December, it's not viable to put on sale. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. It just came out. Um, so apparently it's also coming out on Google Stadia. So that's interesting. He, did, he didn't kill anybody <laughs> super serious, but he did like, like become underweight for this movie. <laughs> didn't kill anybody oh boy it um, is an, an extremely uncomfortable movie it, it's like a it's like a scorsese film okay i i need to go see this movie. yeah it's yeah shiver yes your reaction is how i was reacting through the it's it's literally um taxi driver it's 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 a lot like Taxi Driver. Um, okay, just to give trash, people okay. just to give people some kind of uh, some kind of frame of reference. Yep. Um, I personally usually rely on IMDb for movie ratings. 
because it tends to be fairly good. Um, as it, an everybody's aggr- polarized on this movie. As an aggregator, Joker has a 9.1. Which is uh, a cri- spectacularly high rating on this particular one. Uh, um, critics are super divided on it. Though. Oh, it's incredibly, kind of crazy. incredibly. There's lots of yeah. critics who are like, "This is garbage." <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I, I loved it. I loved it. All the, all the Batman references were super subtle, but there were tons of them. Tons of them. Nice. Um, it was um, like literally everywhere. They got every detail right. I love the I love the um the summary for this movie is one line a gritty character study of Arthur Fleck a man disregarded by society Arthur Fleck <laughs> the well-known alias of the Joker Oh well that's cool I got to see that movie It's very good it's um, very good um what's his face uh oh what's his name Ah uh, he's a uh, What's his name? The actor. He's in Robert De Niro. Yeah, yeah, Robert De Niro. Goodness gracious, the scene with him and Joaquin Phoenix is perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, I gotta see this movie. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, our last question currently, please, more questions, um, is from CIG Payment Manager. Huh? Um, the question is, and I'm gonna aim this to shiver because i have decided to um what type of ship will be released with citizen con a noodle vending ship a noodle vending (laughs) ship i i 100 support this uh jake Uh, what which ship do you think is going to be revealed what type of ship uh not going to be drake nope they did that last time not going to be Consolidated Outlands. There's the Polaris before that. So that's RSI. Yeah. Nope. Carlisle is right. I'm going with uh, Crusader for manufacture. And it's going to be something very large. Some kind of industry ship. So, I'm with you on the industry ship, but I think it's going to be a misc. I, I think it's going to be a misc. Um, okay. I think it's going to be a misc ship, and I think I'm going way off the board here. I think it's going to be a starship, uh, a starbase constructor. Whoa. That's my, my that, thought. That's that's out of left field. Jesus. Oh, because because I bet you they're building out the uh, the base mechanics to build on planets, and they're like, wait a minute, exactly. wait a minute, listen. We could probably do this in space too, and it'll be great. And we don't have to do a whole lot to get it up and running because it's the same tech. So, yep, this is all very plausible. Yep, do you it's enjoy, the same do you modular. Enjoy my pie in the sky hopes that, <laughs> that it just spouted out of my mouth. It's the same system, modular system they've used for other things, and they have the the pioneer that needs to come eventually so yeah, yeah i could i could it can be smaller because it doesn't need to like deal with gravity so it can just move it around and be mm-hmm. okay or it could be gigantic because you, you don't <laughs> have to lift you don't have to lift anything in space you just no. have to move it exactly so so there's no need to have like the big crane arms that the that the pioneer does um, Carlisle thinks I love, they I love released a ship w- called the my, Misk Musk. I was I was just watching Shiver's facial expressions the entire time I was you, explaining it. He's you like, got me a oh, space crane, and I'm yeah. like, I want to see a fucking yeah. ginormous three mile tall space crane, even though it makes yeah. no sense and it'd be oh. shit. I just still want to see it. All right, uh, come back to Apex. <laughs> There's a space elevator in the new Apex map, and it's awesome. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? Yeah. Listen, space elevators hot right now, hot right now. Apparently, we got, we got this. We got the expanse. Well, I guess that wasn't really a space elevator. It was more like a station to the, to a giant ship thing. But it, it was the elevator. Um. <laughs> the only problem is that with with the height of space elevators uh, coming to its peak, 
we also have oh, to God. endure space elevator music. Yes. And man, it goes on. Just, you know mm-hmm. what? And you know what space elevator music is? It's Klingon opera. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and you can't skip the tracks no. either. Nope. Uh, uh, satisfactory space elevator. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'd be okay with Mass Effect space elevator music. It's just not intrusive. You know, it's just like it's very quiet. And Breaking news from Cindy. the Citadel today: fish have escaped. Yeah. See, see, yeah, make it, yeah, do, do like the news bits. Mm. Yeah. Now, here's a question. That'd be an easy thing to update and patches and change it. Do you think with the release of Red Dead 2, they will release a, re- a remaster of Red Dead 1 on PC? Maybe. They did just um, report some older GTAs pretty recently, so not impossible. The problem is they they want to get a professional company to do it, not a load of cowboys. Oh god! <laughs> oh man! Because <laughs> I, I just I would really like to play a remaster of the first game because the first game was so good. It was. It was so good. Uh, I there, well, I know there is a way to play it on PC right yeah, now. But PS now. Um, do some yeah, PS Now. Yeah, PlayStation Now. Which, yeah. by the way, PS Now just sliced their price in half. Yeah. It is now ten dollars a month. Used to be twenty. Now it's ten. If you want to play The Last of Us on your PC? Also, for ten dollars, you can. As a person who just played The Last of Us, that game is incredible. And everyone should play it. Um, I refuse to watch the most recent trailer they just put out. I have the, completely refused to watch it. Yeah, uh, when I'm, is, I'm ready. Uh, when is when is two coming out? It's gonna be uh, soon, February. Oh yeah, right when you move into your house. Yep, I I literally was like, oh, Naughty Dog got me a housewarming gift. How nice. <laughs> <laughs> also, we should talk about your house. Did we talk about your house last week? I'm get no. I wasn't here last week. Right, right. So yeah, I'm moving into a house. I'm gonna have good internet. You're moving out of the cardboard box in the street. Yes. Yep. With finally. the wire just been, like running it's in been the side. Years. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been years. It's just a lot. Th- this this is just a box, a large green cardboard box. <laughs> exactly. You I just, just painted have the my inside chair green. in. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just painted the inside <laughs> green and I just put a light in there. I'm the the plug. I'm just I just kind of move my box and I just steal people's outdoor outlets and power my computer. There you go. Yep. Perfect. All right. Yep. So you'll finally uh, this is have... this is a weird thing. Jake used to host our show a fair amount. Yeah. For like the last couple of years, he said garbage internet, so he hasn't been able to. I can't. And um, I have an upload speed of less than a megabit. It's awful. But when he gets his new house, he'll be he'll have better internet and he'll be able to host again, which would yeah. probably be a good thing. Uh, the I think the the base one is 150 down and like 30 or 40 up. So that'll do. It's good enough for me. Yeah. Good enough for me. That's that's the internet I had in Boston. So, Carlisle asks, are you pleased with the actual lock of content we have at this moment in time regarding the game you cover every Saturday? No! <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Relay Station. <laughs> uh, speaking of, we were t- struggling to come up with a name for the for the show today so i decided to call it untitled goose podcast uh you guys should all play untitled goose game it's wonderful it's kind of so, wondering where that came it's from it's hit it's hit man but instead of a bald man with a barcode on his head uh murdering people you're a goose and you honk at people and annoy them that sounds 
like a quality game. It's very good. Um, it is on PC and Switch. <laughs> I love that and that's you can a buy multi- it for only a paltry sum. I love that that's a that that, that is a multi-platform game. <laughs> that's definitely a game that needs to be multi-platform right there. And Tyler Goose game, twenty dollars, twenty dollars. <laughs> Hey, Timmy, what are you playing? Untitled Goose Game. Yep, what? Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> um, oh, I was just about to ask something about something, and now my brain just totally blanked. That's also, great. this is your weekly reminder to play Control by Remedy Games. Thank you. Hey, everybody, play Control. Oh, uh, speaking of which, uh, important. Um, important. Next week on Epic Games Store... Um, surviving, surviving Mars. Surviving Mars is the free game. Free ninety nine. Uh, so yeah, get in there, grab Surviving Mars. It's a good game. You'll enjoy it. It's very good. Um, if you it has it, a weird hex city builder system, and I like it. Yeah, it's great. Also, if you like Ma- it, Mars has quite a thin atmosphere, right? <laughs> yes, it. <does>. Yes, <laughs> extremely. Yes. So there's no pressure. Oh. I knew there was something coming there. Anyway, um, if you if you like it, make sure you grab the expansion, um, uh, which is I be what is it called, Green Mars or something like that. There's an there's an expansion some, yeah. there's an expansion to it that allows you to terraform Mars. Um, so yeah, make sure you grab that if you are enjoying the game. Um. And thank you all for sticking with us. I know this hasn't been the best podcast that we've ever done, but there is a stark lack of anything to talk about, so that doesn't help us. Um, Oh, I have some news. What's that? Hey, if you have ever wanted to own physical copies of every Marvel movie ever made. Okay. They're putting out a box set. Oh, God. For $550. How about no? How fucking big is that box set? It's pretty big. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it should yeah. come it should, in. The, it should come in a box it's that cool. looks Hold exactly on, let me like find the Tesseract. It. Let me let me find it. No, so they did that. They did that. Um, they um, the the box set was the case that they kept the the Tesseract in, like the metal suitcase, mm, and all the movies were there inside it, right there with the Tesseract. Um, they did that for phase one of, uh, of Marvel. They released phase one as a box set, like ending with the Avengers. The first <laughs> I love fast cards coming. I'll buy it for 500, but 550, that's too much. <laughs> right. <laughs> what the hell? Infinity Saga box set. Yeah, here it is. It's actually like gorgeous. Like, and it's very simple. Like it's, it's, re- it's almost like a plaque. It, it it's it's super cool here let me post it um so it comes with 4k blu-ray and blu-ray copies of every movie oh wow um, and so it, they they kind of did the math it's about 20 dollars a movie which is actually less expensive than a 4k blu-ray i'll uh i'll pick it up when it's 99 dollars on yeah. uh, amazon like that's what, I did. that's what I did. That, yeah, that's what I did for Harry Potter. Right. I, wait, I waited for that two hundred dollar box sale. set to become eighty bucks, exactly. and I got all eight movies. Exactly. Um, I have uh, a yeah. bit of a so, so huge bummer about that, Carlisle. Uh, not all of the MCU is going to be on Disney Plus at launch. Um. Uh, there's well, a few there's a there's a few uh streaming rights contracts that have to expire uh-huh. before it can all be on there um they have some contracts uh, with netflix yeah and with hulu yeah um which like Go back! oh my god yeah they he's mad he wants to play apex he's here because he wants to play apex and he's mad the podcast you have to wait four going. minutes dolvac four minutes four freaking um, minutes um, uh, but so, um, so yeah, like it's, it's funny cause Disney kind of has controlling interest in Hulu as well. <laughs> uh, but because they don't have 
a hundred percent control over it. They have to let the like Iron Man two is stuck on on there. I think, or there's like a bunch that are they're gonna be on there. But um, but all the recent ones are gonna be on there. All four Avengers movies, um, all the Captain America movies, Captain Marvel. I think Netflix has Black Panther for a little while. Um. But yeah, they are going to have every Star Wars movie um, except, I think, Solo and The Last Jedi. Because yeah, I think Netflix, Netflix has, right yeah, Netflix has uh, the rights to those for, I think, another year. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but all uh, all of the, uh, the original trilogy and the prequels, they're all going to be on there. Uh, Rogue One, Force Awakens, all going to be on there. Yeah. Donald so, Fortnite. <laughs> so uh, this is totally kind of a tangent, but it, it, it's kind of something I love. So a tangent on it? this episode? How dare uh, you, Nakara? Yeah, I know it's it's pretty awful. Um, anybody here ever uh, enjoy the Far Side cartoons by Gary Larson? Of course, of course. After being gone for over twenty years, uh, the Far Side is coming back <gasps> online. <gasps> Uh, yeah, it's coming back online, uh, on the far side. Awesome. Awesome. And there's new art up on the website, the far that features, Listen. that features a man with a blowtorch unfreezing a bunch of far side characters from a block of Listen. ice. Spread the word. <laughs> number one feature request. I want there to be a far app, but I don't want to like open the app and look at stuff. I just want a widget that is on my home screen of my phone so when i open my phone it's that day's far side comic <laughs> that would be amazing yes it's literally the the far side calendars that they made mm-hmm. but on your phone that would be oh wow that would be yeah <laughs> that would be amazing yeah that would be pretty far out so the significance no. of this is stop um... it shiver stop it the se- <laughs> no the second part of the significance of this is that the far side has always been a there's a few things around in popular media that have been no you're not allowed to put these online type of deals um you know there are certain bands that would never allow their music to be streamed and the far which side, is all changing because tool yes. is on spotify right now exactly. what weird alternate universe is this and so the far side <laughs> Um, the far side was never allowed to be posted online and it's looking like that will probably completely change with the new, the new stuff. So it should be interesting to see what happens there. Um, and that we... I would pay 99 cents a month for a far side comic every day. Uh, so would I, I'd probably pay more than 99 cents a month, but I'm crazy. All right. Last check. Oh, we actually have two questions. All right. Honk asks. Honk? Honk. 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 Uh, And the second question is um, from CMR. uh, Commander Yeet wants elite feet. Okay. That's his name? Yep. Commander Yeet wants elite feet. Yep. Um, That's going to be hard to beat. Question is in elite what dangerous. What sort of substance do you think he'd secrete? <laughs> in elite dangerous, there are references to walking. I don't want to know about secretions. Am I good to go, Jake? I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> just disturbed. In elite dangerous, there are references about walking inside stations and spaceships within the game files. What is your take on this? It's a hot take. Okay, your your take is hot. Uh, all right. Uh, Shiver? Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Okay, think? We're good. That's the end of the uh, show today, folks. Yeah! <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for joining us. Uh, come back next week, same time, same content. Always. <laughs> um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll have a baby to show off. Um, there might be a baby to show off. Oh, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post it again. Uh, everybody, we are uh, we are holding a a 
contest where we will give away something. Mm -hmm. We don't know what yet. I am not having a baby. Uh, we are. Faster with the, with it's the a it's a message. pool. Uh, pick what day the baby is coming, and what is the sex of the baby, boy or girl, because they don't know yet, and we don't know yet. So that'll be fun. We'll give away. So how it'll work is, um, we'll get all the people who got the right uh gender to get the right prize to get one prize. And then the day we'll get an, the probably the better prize because those are some some odds there. And then we'll do a random number generator to pick the winner from the correct responses. If Perfect. it's a boy and you get it correct, you get two tennis balls as a prize. Um, if it's a girl and you get yes. it correct, you get a meal voucher to eat at the Velvet Taco. Yes. Uh, you. Uh, yes. Each one entry each. So if you um, if you guess the day of the week. You're entered to that, and if you guess the sex, you enter to that. Uh, currently, let's let's see the 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 weight. Uh, everybody thinks it's coming on Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. Tuesday yeah. is the day. Watch, it's gonna be like this. Uh, and <laughs> everybody and uh, and most everybody thinks it's gonna be a girl. Um, so take that information, what you will, future voters. I'm going to post it in the Discord as well if you missed it. So, everybody, your instructions are to now go watch the brand new Star Trek Picard trailer that just came out and the brand new Star Trek Discovery Season 3 trailer that just came out. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy your weekend, and thanks for watching. Goodbye. Follow, subscribe. Goodbye. Bye.